Part 1, Chapter 5 of 1984 by George Orwell delves deeply into the dynamics of the dystopian society Orwell has created, presenting key themes through the day-to-day -day interactions of Winston Smith, the protagonist. This chapter notably explores the concepts of newspeak, the manipulation of the population through language, and the pervasive monitoring by the party, even among family members. At the centerpiece of this chapter is a lunchtime conversation between Winston and Syme, a colleague who is zealously involved in the development of Newspeak. Syme explains with a disturbing enthusiasm how Newspeak is designed to reduce the complexity of language, making it a tool for limiting thought rather than expressing it. He boasts about the language's purpose to eliminate the possibility of rebellious thoughts, thought crime, by systematically shrinking the vocabulary. Syme's prediction that by 2050, everyone will be fluent in Newspeak unsettles Winston, though he is careful not to show it. This conversation highlights how control over language is intrinsically linked to control over thought and consequently behavior. Syme, with his blind loyalty to the system and his role in crafting this linguistic cage, represents those who unknowingly assist in their subjugation through their work. Adding to the atmosphere of continuous surveillance and public manipulation, Parsons, Winston's neighbor, joins them and shares anecdotes about his children, who are indoctrinated by the party to such an extent that they act as informants, monitoring their own family for any sign of unorthodoxy. Parsons' pride in his children's vigilance underscores the profound reach of the party's influence, extending into the most personal of human relationships those within families. It is an insight into how deeply the ideology of the party is ingrained from a very young age, showcasing the breakdown of familial trust and loyalty. Meanwhile, as they sit in the canteen, an announcement blares from the telescreen, proclaiming that the chocolate ration has been increased, a direct contradiction to a recent announcement stating the opposite. This moment is critical as it presents the concept of doublethink, the ability to hold two contradictory beliefs simultaneously and accept both of them. Winston's awareness of the contradiction and his silent questioning of it mark him as an outsider in his silent descent, even as he wonders if he alone remembers the truth. Throughout the chapter, Winston observes Julia, the dark-haired girl from the fiction department, believing her to be an agent of the thought police. His paranoia about being watched and the constant tension of having to hide his true thoughts, even in his most mundane interactions, highlight the pervasive fear and suspicion that characterizes life under the party's rule. In summary, chapter five of part one in 1984 enriches the novel's exploration of themes like language as a tool of control, the eradication of private loyalty in favor of devotion to the party, and the manipulative alteration of reality through propaganda. These dynamics are illustrated through the routine, yet highly charged, interactions of the characters, painting a chilling portrait of a society where freedom of thought and the integrity of personal relationships are meticulously and ruthlessly undermined. This has been another Bookly Crash Course. Thanks for watching the video. Please leave a like and a comment to help out the Bookly Crash Course channel.